Hello everyone, this is Desert Qualities and welcome to the history of the Scottish Samurai Thomas Glover, the man who helped to modernise Japan and restore the emperor to the throne. To start, Thomas Glover was born in Aberdeenshire and moved to Aberdeen in 1844. Upon leaving school, he became a shipping clerk with the trading company Jardine Matheson. Jardine Matheson invited Thomas to interview at the age of 18 and not long after he was posted to China. The reason for Thomas being hired and posted there are not documented. There is some speculation saying that he was a Freemason, although no concrete evidence has ever been present to support the claim. Although one of the buildings in the Glover Garden Complex was a lodge for Freemasons. At the age of 21 he moved to Nagasaki in Japan and worked initially buying Japanese green tea. Two years later he started his own company Glover & Co. He also had his home built in Nagasaki and is actually still there to this day. Nationalistic militants in Satsuma and Chosu were at the head of anti-government efforts aimed at toppling the shogunate and restoring the emperor as sovereign of Japan. These factions later became leaders in the Meiji Restoration Government, which Thomas Glover supplied with arms and warships. Some of the arms sales were conducted in violation of treaty agreements between Britain and Japan and was also against Japanese law. The shogun made a pointed request and sent a personal letter to the British Queen not to allow their legal trade. Thomas explained and so knew that to sell arms to a rebel force would be a treaty violation. Kido explained to a political council in Yamaguchi that Thomas feels sorry for the Japanese but there is nothing he can do. Thomas did have a suggestion to get around the shogun though. He suggested that Chosu send a vessel directly to Shanghai to buy rifles and then Thomas would do everything in his power to buy and load as many guns as needed. Thomas Clover ended up providing the rifles that were needed directly from Nagasaki. He then travelled to meet Kido for the first time. Kido noted that trading with the Japanese was prohibited for a foreigner at that time and that Thomas was very reluctant about dealing with them. He had not even told his own crew about the sale of guns. If he were discovered, Thomas could be prohibited from engaging in trade for three years and even be imprisoned. In 1863, Thomas helped five Japanese students travel to London on Jardine Matheson ships. They were known as the Chosu Five. He also helped to send 15 trainees from Satsuma in 1865. In the same year, he was also responsible for bringing a small steam locomotive and some cars to Japan, which he demonstrated on a short track in Nagasaki. The locomotive and cars caused a sensation and alerted Japan to the benefits of railway transportation. As Thomas had assisted in toppling the Tokugawa Saganet during the Boshin War, he had better relations with the new Meiji government. These relations led to him being responsible for commissioning one of the first warships in the Imperial Japanese Navy, which was built by Alexander Hall and Company in Aberdeen and launched on the 27th of March 1869. Thomas also commissioned two more ships for the Japanese Navy from the same shipyard in Aberdeen, the Hoshu Maru and the Kagoshima, one of which went to the Satsuma clan. In 1858, Thomas made a contract with the Nabishima clan and began to develop Japan's first coal mine at Hashima Island. He also bought the first dry dock to Japan. Thomas went bankrupt in 1870, but he stayed in Japan to manage the coal mine until it was taken over by the government. Thomas was a key figure in modernising Japan. He helped to found a shipbuilding company which was later to become the modern day company Mitsubishi, which many of us have heard of. He also helped to establish the Japan Brewery Company, which later became the major Kirin Brewery Company. An urban myth has it that the moustache of the mythical creature featured on Kirin beer labels is in fact a tribute to Thomas Clover who had a moustache just like that. In recognition of these achievements, he was awarded the Order of the Rising Sun, which is a national decoration given by the government. His association with the rebellious samurai clans of Satsuma and Chosu, and his interest in samurai seems to have contributed to him being referred to as the Scottish Samurai in Scotland. Thomas died at his home in Tokyo, but was buried at the Sakamoto International Cemetery in Nagasaki. He did have a family in Japan though. He had an informal marriage with a Japanese woman. Together they had a daughter named Hannah, and they also adopted a British Japanese son later named Kuraba who also later went on to make important contributions to Nagasaki. Just to cover a small bit about his son, despite his Japanese citizenship, during World War II he was hounded as a potential spy by the Japanese military police. On the 26th of August 1945 he committed suicide, soon after the atomic bombings. Back to Thomas, his former residences in Nagasaki and Aberdeen have both since been turned into museums which anyone can visit to this day. There was also a Glover series of whiskies launched in 2015 and 2016 to celebrate the life of Thomas Blake Glover and honour the long-standing relationship between Scotland and Japan. Thank you everyone for watching my video on Thomas Glover, the Scottish Samurai. 
Let me know in the comments what you think of Thomas. Was he the very first weeb? Remember if you enjoyed watching then to subscribe to my channel and to give this video a like. More videos will be coming out soon.